Uh, in this video, I just want to show you some of the shaping tools that are available to you in auto cabinets and how easy it is to shape a cabinet in auto cabinets. Here, this is just a standard upper I've zoomed in on. We'll look at it in 3D and just a uh, standard upper cabinet, nothing special about this cabinet. Now, what I want to do is actually shape this cabinet, some internal parts of the cabinets and the overall shape of the cabinet. So I'm going to switch back to plan view. Select, on, select edit and just select on the, click on the cabinet. That's going to take us to the cabinet editor screen. Here I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, the doors and the hardware just for demonstration purposes. Now let's shape some of these parts. I'm going to click on the shape option here and I'm just going to select, select on screen. Now I want to select this shelf. It's going to bring up the part shaper. Now what I want to do on this is just take the side notch tool, select the back of the shelf, uh, and I'm just going to accept these default settings. Now I can turn these into anything I want. I can go in at 45 degree angles. I can, you know, notch it out if I want to notch it out or, you know, notch it back in. And we'll just choose 45 degree angle or 90 degree angles here. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that and add that shape to that part. I'm going to select the shape tool again. I'm going to say select on screen. And we're going to select uh, this shelf again, or the second shelf, and we're going to go to side notch, select the thing, well again we'll just take the default settings, make it 90 degrees, <coughs> and draw that, and insert that, we'll go ahead and go to the uh, bottom as well, we'll just say select on screen, so all the parts in a cabinet are available for shaping, and there's a number of options here, I'm just trying to keep it relatively simple here, we'll take the side notch tool, Select the side here, till at 90, preview, add that notch, insert that. We'll go ahead and shape the, uh, let's look at the cabinet real quickly. I've shaped the bottom, the two shelves, let's shape the top of the cabinet now. And we still have a back and our nailers and stuff in this cabinet. So let's go to the uh, top. I'm just going to say select on screen. Select the uh, top. We'll take... Uh, side notch tool, select the back, take the default settings, add that shape, and insert <coughs> and insert that. Now the last thing we want to do is just shape the outside of the cabinet as well so it represents the way we want the cabinet to look on screen. I'll take the toolbar, take the shape option here. Uh, we'll increase that to two and three quarters. Uh, by uh, two and three quarters and we'll look at that we'll make that 90 degrees we'll add that so now we've got the outside of the box shaped the way we want the cabinet to be we'll look at it in 3d and here's our cabinet with our all our shape parts and we still have the nailer and the uh, the back in this cabinet and that's fine but if I want to get rid of the back and the nailers all I'm going to do is uh, select the delete option here, select the back, delete the back. That reveals the nailers, so now I'm going to select and delete the two nailers. And uh, that's the way we want the cabinet to be. We'll look at it again in 3D. Uh, I'll render that just so you can see it a little better. We'll choose like a oak, just so you can see the different colors. So there's our shape cabinet. Let me zoom out just a little bit more and we'll render that thing again. There's our shape cabinet with the shape, all the parts and stuff like that clearly shaped. Now the cool thing about this, this is a parametric cabinet. It's not You're not locked into never being able to change the size of this cabinet again. So what I want to do now is just return it to the, uh, to the job and I'll just take uh, the default settings here and insert this and we'll put it right back it was. <clears throat> now the, the good thing about this is I, if I want to make a copy of this cabinet, and I do, I'm going to choose quick copy. I'm going to select the cabinet and the wall I want to put it on. But I want to increase the width to 36 inches here. And I'm going to insert this back into the job. Just put it right next to this cabinet. Align it to the wall. <clears throat> now we have the 30 and the 36 inch cabinet with the shape still intact. Uh, we'll look at this in 3D. 
<clears throat> there's our two cabinets with our increased sizes. Now we can send this directly to the router. I'm just going to select parts, uh, DXF out. I have um, a folder here. We'll just call this uh, a new new shaped uh, cabs or something like that. And I'm just going to select save. It's going to automatically add the line boring to it. I'm going to click OK here. Nest this. Here's our parts with our all our shaped parts with our line boring and uh, our construction holes for the top and the bottom and stuff like that. It, all that was transferred over from smart joints. Uh, if we go to quick code and tell it to display the code, we'll pause this. And there's all your G code with your line boring, the shape parts, and everything that you need to be able to shape a cabinet through uh, auto cabinets. Uh, thank you very much for your time.